know they gotta chill I pull out the tool, I may pop for real I've been running bad like I got the steel What's going down, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? She what up? She what Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back at y'all boys with another video, you feel me? Stephen A. Smith's Best Arguments and Hilarious Moments Part 1. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to do a try not to laugh to this. Man. Yes, sir. We are. Stephen A. is quite hilarious. Yeah, he's he quite is. quite informative. Uh, he's been doing this for a very long time. Long, long time. Um, longer than we actually realize when we mm -hmm. kind of go back and see. Uh, where he was back in some of the old clips. Yeah. So uh, put some respect on the homie name. Yes. Uh, let's get into this video. Make sure y'all liking, y'all subscribing. Try not to laugh as well along with us. Let's do this. Get us to half a million, ladies and gentlemen. He's not invested. Jay Cutler couldn't couldn't give a rip if he throws a touchdown or an interception. Quite honestly, is simply looking at his facial expressions and running an opinion off of that. When we've had guys like Dominique Foxworth or Jermon Bushrod, who both played you know at the same you make he's me sick sometimes. Teammate. You he's make me sick teammate. sometimes. Please, please, just be quiet and listen. Because let me tell you something. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Number one, it ain't just about Jay Cutler's facial expressions. I got an 11 year track record with this brother. 11 years, one playoff appearance. One and one in a playoff, pedaling on a bicycle in an NFC championship game instead of backpedaling in the pocket. What the hell are you talking about? Those I'm talking about coaches that's not, and that's teammates. That's not hyperbole. That's not hyperbole. I gave you facts. I just gave you facts. That's number one. Number two, I've spoken to several of his teammates who played for him. Have you? Have you talked to them? Have you listened to what they said about his lack of leadership? Number three, visit the teammates in Denver. Visit them in Chicago. Listen to what they have to say. They they used to argue with me on behalf of Jake Cutler and called me to apologize or ran in front of me. You got that? Listen, I do. Yeah, I'm wait, telling you right now. No, 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 zip it. I'm giving you facts. You I'm, don't get to speak right now. I gave you your turn because you accused it of high purpose. Could it be possible? Why? Because you got a stat sheet. Because you got a stat sheet and you read some stats. You ain't engaging in hyperbole. Hey, listen, is, listen. is Jay Cutler not? Hold on. Is Jay Cutler not the and juxtaposed to Colin Kaepernick? Okay, is oh. Jay Cutler right now not the epitome of white privilege in the United States of America? What no. did he do That's to deserve absurd. this job? What Listen. did he do? Listen what did, is he better? Listen. Is he better? What did he do? Could it be what? possible that these locker rooms, they're just in the realm of possibility, could it possibly be under the, 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 the sun of this universe that there's people in these locker rooms that disagree with the guys that are talking to you? Could it be possible that Dominique Foxworth or Jermon Bushrod or, or, or Adam Gates or Herm Herman. Edwards, for that matter, have said, you I'd know, like to answer that question. No, no, no. I'm not I'd done. Like to answer that question. I'm not done. I'm not done. I've said this makes football sense and that Jay Cutler is a good yeah, teammate. About the How box. is it possible that someone could disagree with Stephen A. Smith or the people that yeah. talk to Stephen A. Smith? They disagree with me all the time. They disagree with me. They disagree with me all the time. They just end up wrong, like you. They like they like the the they just end up wrong like you. But in the end, to answer your question directly, I'm not saying that there are not players that wouldn't disagree with those players that I spoke to. But I coupled it with the facts I gave you about Jay Cutler. I didn't just sit there and say they said that about him. I gave you an 11 year history this dude threw for 4,000 yards once he had a good year two years ago with Adam Gase as his as his he hasn't been interested he's looked apathetic you got anybody that covers the sport that knows it but because Will Kane wants to be the ultimate contrarian engaging in hyperbole while accusing others of doing it he don't want to embrace the fact that Jay Cutler is not the argument that you want to make right here on first take you better find another subject Hey, Jay Cutler ain't the answer. Uh, and Jay, the Cutler's not, with Jay Cutler's not the only... Or Stephen A. Smith running to hyperbole. Oh, One of us is sharing the same opinion as oh, Adam oh, Gates. Oh. The other is saying he's the worst quarterback for sports. I can guarantee you most of the audience is going to agree with me before they agree with you. That's number one. Number yeah. two, don't give me hyperbole when it comes to Jay Cutler when I gave you facts. You don't get to ignore the facts that I dropped on you. I gave you, hold on, hold on, I gave you facts. Number three, the, it, even if the Miami Dolphins make the playoffs, it doesn't mean it's going to be because they of him. Whole it's thing. Number four, oh, we, gotta we, also, we also take into consideration, let's, let's zip, chill. The bottom line is this. When you look at Jay Cutler, there, he might be a byproduct of it. They may be successful in spite of him. It damn sure ain't going to be because of oh, him. Oh, you're dancing I'd like to judge one thing. Stephen A. says he's the worst the quarterback in football. Screen, Where do you rank Talking him? trash. How would you describe Jay Cutler? Wale in he's person. probably around, at this point, yes. this year, yes. where he will be, yes. I'll give him around 20th. 
Okay, I am closer to a Wait, Is this, this, this coming talk, from the hey, guy? Molly, he's talking like he's talking, Molly, like it's breaking news, and I'm Wait, going hold like this. Is this who you're going against? Molly, it's about who you're going, you're going against. Is this coming from the same against? guy who moments ago somehow shoehorned into his pick of the Warriors the fact that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time and calling me the greatest shooter of all time? But you see the difference. I can uh, say news the flash. greatest Steph shooter on the Warriors. of all time, Steph Curry. Right. That takes five those, seconds. Those, those. But like your soliloquies, but, but which other, takes five hey, minutes. And you acting like we in a class at Columbia. We're not. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out, This is fun, but Any I have a real question. Any day week. Stephen A., do you feel like... the last segment. Guys, Someone can, at you, home, can you all settle down, focus for a second? Do you guys feel like Draymond Green's going to be an X factor, though? Keeping his emotions in check, playing well on both ends? First of all, well, first of all, I'm always focused. Secondly, of well, course, focus Draymond Green on what is going Molly's to be a saying. Backest. Okay, well, what, what, what Molly is saying or what Molly is asking, asking. because Molly is asking Ever. about Draymond Green, who had Ever. 20, 12, and 9. Molly up. is Goodbye. asking about a guy who can put up a triple-double. Molly is asking about a guy that yeah, repeatedly well, produces time and time again when all before. his weapons are there. I was with you Excuse when me? we felt like he, he's cost them games before. That's why. Let me tell you, I'll answer the question, Draymond. Molly. Draymond Green Draymond. is the, when we were arguing yesterday, yes, sort of, who's the, alpha of of, who's the alpha of Golden State, like Steph or Kevin Durant? No, no, no. One. You're, and you're number right. two, here's what I really, really okay. get from this. Mm -hmm. Max Kellerman would rather somebody take a fork and stab him in his chest before he was able to admit that he was wrong, okay? <laughs> because it's far be like it for anybody to, to dis disagree with him. We have to lack comprehension when it comes to Max Kellerman because it's not that we right. can disagree with him well, it's that we don't comprehend wrong, what right? his Max, argument Max, is you don't truly That's what believe I get from right. it. My exact little mm -hmm. melee here. Oh you see Eric God, Bledsoe God. and Joel. There's Stephen. Wait. Oh, what are you doing? Cleveland, A. Is that Cleveland? What are you doing out coming there? Coming out to save the day? I could not you believe it. You had to break it. it up? That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> that is that not. That guy was that, too fast. I that, is, that, is, that is not me. Yeah, that's, that, I can get on you. You keep, you keep on joking, Molly. You know what? I'm about to start <laughs> getting on you. We got to laugh a little I'm, on this show, I'm going to start we? getting on you about something. It was not me, people. Yeah. It was not me. The only Molly. thing that I could surmise is that yeah. the yeah. headline. It did look like me from it a does distance. Look the like from a but distance. it was not me. That was but not me that jumped really on the court. Thought that was you me. really thought it was me. It was not me. It was not me. I was on the other yeah, side Steven, of the arena. Get on you, with Molly. Yes. Stephen A., this is not me. This is not me right now. This is someone else. <laughs> Whatever. What do you mean that that wasn't you? What are you doing out on the basketball court in the middle of the game? It wasn't me. You had no I business in that, in that I, melee. I, so, let, so let me get this straight. That pit bull that is Eric Bledsoe, along with jo seven foot one Joel Embiid, is about to get into a fight, and I am going to get in the middle of that? Have y'all lost y'all uh, damn mind? Okay, I okay. I couldn't believe it. Let me tell you something. Let me see it one more time. You Come on know, out, Cleveland A. It's not there only the hairline that bought everybody in. Stephen A., we all believe you would do that. We, yeah. you, I don't know what you're That's talking about. We yeah. all hold on, hold on, believe no, no, you no. would run no, no, onto no. the court. Let's start right there. Let's start right there. Stop, guys. Let's... It's my league. <laughs> really? Y'all really think that I would jump on the court no, in the middle of two dudes fighting like that? You crazy? I will say this on a more serious note, like the Palace at Auburn Hill years ago. I would have tried to stop some of those players mm. from running into the stand. That I would have done. You're a little taller and slimmer than that guy. I knew it wasn't I, I you. Agree, I agree. All right. <laughs> Association. So it's not about Eric Reed. Oh, it's bro. about me being a radio host. That did look Acknowledging like that. Yeah, that I have did. to consider all sides <clears throat> until the definitive truth is being told. Like, for example, if he says he took seven tests, what if we found out he took three? You see what I'm saying? Let me stop you right there. Sure. There's a book that you need to educate yourself with called The $40 Million Slaves. That's about basketball. Stop, written stop, by stop, William stop, C. stop, 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 right there. Stop, it, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I had a television show, quite frankly. William C. Roden, who happens to be a friend of mine, is the author of the book and came on my show to promote it for a full hour. I am fully aware of the book. I have read the book cover to cover. I read so, it many years ago. Down. That statement you just made was unnecessary and disrespectful, but I won't make you apologize. What I will say instead is this. You're not listening to me when I tell you this. I have an obligation. <clears throat> Do I believe Eric Reed is lying? No. But I have the obligation of saying 
if he's telling the truth because there are people in NFL circles who may say he's lying. So until we know, I have to say, if he's telling the truth. I can't specifically take his word as gospel because the role that I'm in makes that an irresponsible position to take. You have the luxury of expressing your feelings because you don't have these radio airwaves available to you where you could be held accountable for calling somebody definitively to the carpet without all the facts being revealed. Well, the facts, yes or no? Excuse me? Do you have all the facts, yes or no? That's what I'm trying to say, no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have to say if because I don't. That's my point. I'm talking to an educator, not an educatee. Hold on. First of all, we're all educatees. So you just <laughs> lied about that. You still learn every day. You trying to tell me you stopped learning? Teach you something. You understand me? Ben, Hold I on. I, I just, I just, I just finished saying, LA, I just finished saying, I just finished saying, <laughs> y'all, you not an educatee. Do you not get taught something every day? Do you not learn something every day? An educator is the first person to tell us we never stop learning. Mm -hmm. So why would you make that statement? Whether you're blind, crippled, or crazy. Goodbye. I tried to talk to you. I tried. I tried. I tried. I've asked you questions. You're ignoring me. I gave you the airwaves. I'm trying to interrupt mm -hmm. because you're arguing me over moot points, and you had an opportunity to express yourself. Call back tomorrow and try again, and I'll put you on again. But I'm not going to let you take up more time with that this damn silly camera on me right now. <laughs> Last time I checked, it was January 15th, Richard Sherman, that the Dallas Cowboys lost to the Green Bay Packers. Now, a few yeah. weeks before that, this brother is on the show. And he like, Stephen, how dare him not be here when I am on this show to rave about my Cowboys and watch what we do. And they are gone yet again another year. They haven't won a damn playoff game. It's been 22 years since they won a Super Bowl. And your behind couldn't be found. Suddenly, and Michael Irvin couldn't be found anywhere. Scandrick and all that. Where the hell have you and been? I hope, I hope you enjoyed those 22 years. Because what we got hard right. to have champions. Can we stop right there? Jesus. Can we stop right there? record breaking. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And it's going to start off a plethora of years no, 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 of first, winning. First of all, the world is plethora, number one. Number two, and more importantly, Michael Irvin, this is, don't let me come on the NFL Network with you. Let me do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. It won't here's change. Here's the deal. Hold on, hold on. It won't change. I, the Michael Irvin that I know. The Michael Irvin is a playmaker. Plethora. My brother, my man. Oh, We've yeah. known each other for years. We worked together. Yeah. Years. This I is don't need to kiss him at first. Just do it. We used to be talking about, all right, let's do it. We used to talk about championships. Michael Irvin and I never had a conversation about about anything other than championships. Now the Cowboys can't win a damn playoff game. But you okay. talking greatness? You talking oh, greatness. Let me, let, let, let me give How? you the explanation of greatness. Take so it away. you are informed and edified. I'm going to crack your cranium and fertilize your brain. You go ahead and right here, it. right now. You go ahead. Let me give you, you something. Go ahead. You go ahead. Greatness <laughs> is an extended time of great performance. And that's what these young kids are about to give you. You saw it out of the quarterback last mm. year. You saw it out of the running back last year. Now give them time. When greatness that's sitting right before you got to the Cowboys, they were well, one in 15, three in 13, mm -hmm. before three years later being three championships in four years. You got to get the time to grow. It's like a good seed that's about to turn into a great tree. Y'all going to watch he it happen preaching. and then sit here and talk about it all day. You want to well, well, talk about it. First of all, first of all, that is utter nonsense. Especially that. Yes, of course you I, say I, 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 Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You got to get it to the Tom Brady to win his rookie year. Hold on, hold on. Did Peyton Manning win his rookie year? Come on, what give me talk to me about this. Let me tell you something right now. Hold on. Listen, me about great. you were great. talking about what they were going to do Don't before January 15th. They didn't do it, and I couldn't find you for two months. Why did I find you for two months? You are <laughs> gone, you and Richard Sherman is sitting right next to you. You act like the Dallas Cowboys don't have to play him, and don't have to play Seattle, yes, and Atlanta, and Green Bay, yes, and the yes. New York Giants. What and, about, and, what about and, all of that, Michael Irvin? And, and, and what are you telling them? They're well, not great. They didn't win the championship like, last year either. They so got a ring ready. They got a ring ready. They don't have it. Listen, listen. Young kids were in elementary school when the last time y'all won. Title. You it's see been 22 fall. years. It, uh, yes, it, 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 no doubt. Foxborough, Massachusetts. In the big city. The big city. 504. Well, there's, well, a, there's a little bit more well, distractions. Well, but what you I understand need, more of a nightlife. They get distracted anywhere. You they can get distracted in Boston, excuse too. Me, excuse me. Excuse me. Foxborough? Can. You're Foxborough. not in Foxborough. You're wait a minute, wait a minute. A lot of those guys are in Foxborough during the no, week. During New Orleans is different. New Orleans is different. Nobody is in Foxborough. Molly, with all due respect, you guys can get in anywhere. Molly, that's the big, the worst argument, though. You're talking about that is not the worst argument. I'm going to get. I'm calling you out right here. That is so phony on your part, Molly. Hold on, hold on, Molly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly.
Molly, give somebody, give somebody a chance to address you since you always got something to say. All right, here's the deal. So, Molly Wood, let me get this straight. Molly Wood. What's that nickname? Molly Wood. You gave her that. There's no difference. Don't me. Hold on. There's no difference between New Orleans and Foxborough. <laughs> First of all, it's not Foxborough. It's Boston. Is Boston a party town, Molly? Yes, you can go out in Boston. You can go out anywhere. Go Boston. out is different. But this, listen, I'm from New Orleans. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. It never sleeps. You, no, no, you, you, you never sleep. But no, no, you guys, no. you can get into trouble anywhere. You don't no know that. But some places are more than others. You don't know to help you get you into trouble You don't know there's a difference. You? And I went to L.A. for work. That was a job opportunity. Oh, my God, bro. This is... Oh, oh yo, if y'all want us to check out part two, run these likes up, Bro, man. when you get into that sports bag and them conversation and debates... Oh, my God. That shit can get heated, bro. Steve. I got to see the one with him and uh, LeVar. Oh, he, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If y'all want us to check oh, out some more shit. of these... Come on, vids, man. Run man. them likes up. Run them likes up, bro, because Stephen A is a goddamn fool, bro. Yeah. I fucking like watching him just go back and forth with people because he, he just don't give a damn, bro. I fucking love it, man. I would Shout love Stephen for a, him and Shannon to disagree. Yeah, that would, that, would, that, would be, that would be interesting. That, that would be a hell of a that would debate. Be a hell of a, hell of a uh, in, entertaining show. Mm -hmm. So, But comment down below. Let us yes, know if y'all want us to check out more of these type of vids. Come on, we man. definitely are looking forward to checking them out. Let us know your favorite team down below. Facts. Favorite basketball and favorite uh, football yeah. and baseball, yeah. if uh, that's true, and too, or whatever sport. You know, mm -hmm. just comment your favorite team, mm -hmm. no matter the sport, yeah. uh, down below. Who do you like? Of course, Houston related, bro. Well, I'm just asking. You know what I'm saying? Some people Shout out know. to Bill Booty Chin O'Brien getting fired. Woo! You know, I never want to get mad that uh, or be happy that a man gets fired. Yeah, I but, get it. Uh, um, this one of the moments where we just no! just a little bit lit. I'm him. Bro, he'll be fine, bro. He'll find another job. I'm still mad that we lost D Hop before yeah, yeah. we made that shout decision. Shout out to D Hop, to man. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to D Hop, man. Doing his um, thing right now in Arizona. He, Doing his thing he's right cut, now. He's cutting up, man. Yeah, cutting he up. should be cutting up with us. But listen, this video before yeah. I start crying. Hopefully, the next dude come in like, hey, hey, can we have him back? Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, doing the trades. Come, bro. We traded him for a boxer. <laughs> Uh, rocks, my nigga, <laughs> and two draft picks from next two yeah. first round, first and second round draft picks for nothing. I'm done with this video. I know <laughs> the pain, the horror, the agony. But now nah, we love you guys, man. Stay safe out there in them COVID streets and never, ever, ever forget. I'm gonna clutch, baby. I've been through this, been through that, reminiscing on my past. I found bliss in the way that I carry on my back. Let my soul sing my song. It goes, ooh, na, 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 na. I still rose from all my lows. I say, ooh, na, na, na.